So tonight before work, I'm going to pick up some weights that I found the listing on Craigslist for about $1.64 a pound. Right now they're selling for about $2.40 a pound. Let's see what I can get. Probably not much light. Here's the weights that I got. Let's get them unloaded. All right, so here's a better look. I've got two of the 15 kilogram, two 10 kilogram, two five kilogram, four of the two and a half kilogram, and four of the one and a quarter kilogram. Now uh, they're Olympic two inch holes. Uh, I paid 270 for all of them. Welcome back. Matt here, Matt and the fam. Got all the weights unloaded, so I picked up a bunch of weights last night on my way to work. Uh, so I got 165 pounds for $270. I got my little, little cheat sheet, I guess I should have it right here, like a teleprompter. Uh, for $270, so I paid $1.64 a pound. I'm hoping to sell them for about $2.40 a pound. Uh, that'll give me 76 cents a pound profit which doesn't seem like a whole lot but that should be around 125 dollars profit before fees and everything else uh, worst case scenario i think i'll get two dollars a pound so we're getting 36 cents per pound and that's six, about 60 bucks uh, but i don't think i don't think it'll go that low i don't think these will these will sit long with it being the end of the year gyms are still shut down uh, you know, the new year, everyone has their resolution. They want to work out. And this brand, this style, is pretty desirable. It's kind of a a vintage look, I guess. I don't know how, the actual year of them, but... Um, yeah. So, we'll go through, see what I got real quick. got two... Uh, two of these 15 kilogram, 33 pound... Uh, plates and they're all they're all Olympic uh, two inch holes so The wider I don't even know if I'm saying that right wider international is the Just cool looking plates the black with the white. It just looks really cool. So they're really desirable um, So I guess to compare so I have the newer version so these are my These are my my plates that I bought before before COVID and everything hit, I bought, with my boiler that I bought and all my weights, it's 280 pounds. Uh, I got two 45s, three 25s, two 10s, two 5s, and four two and a halves. No, I got, I got other ones too, there's six there. Fives, two two and a halves, and then I don't know, four two and a halfs and then two to one and a quarter or something like that. Um, so this style, you know, they don't look as cool as the other ones, I admit, but weight is weight. I don't care. All my weights are mis they're, they're mixed and mismatched. And I got some that look like these ones, um, but the, the standard size, I got these are my Olympic ones that I have. I have some of the plastic ones, like the, the concrete. It's coated in plastic. Um, I just, you know, I get them from Goodwill and Salvation Army, wherever I find them. Yeah, I, I really don't care. Wait to wait to me. I, I get it. It looks cool if you won't have all the same, but it doesn't, doesn't matter much to me. So, anyways, I've got two of the 15 kilograms, two tens. So, again, I mean, I like, I think it looks cool. I get it. But, Two five kilogram four of the two and a half kilogram and four of the one and a quarter kilogram. Yeah, so the sets of uh, 15 kilograms are going for about $150 each, not each, per set. Um, 
give or take. Some are a little bit up, some are a little bit higher, some are a little bit lower. The 10, 10 kilograms are anywhere from 100 to 150. So I figure around 120 range. Um, the fives, five kilogram uh, for a pair is going for about 50 bucks. The two and a half kilogram for, for sets of four, they're going for about 50 bucks as well. And yeah, and then the one and a quarter are going from 40 to 50 bucks. And, this, and these are the lower end prices, and I'm, you know, I'm kind of trying to be conservative with it. I'm going to probably list them a little bit higher and see if I get any bites and then drop them down if not, or, or take some offers. Yeah, so that's it. I'm going to have um, customers pay shipping. So the good thing about it is that it's not the full, like 45, 45 discs are pretty big. 35s are still pretty big. These are 33 pounds because they're, they're, I mean, I guess each plate is kilograms and pounds because they convert, but these are specifically meant to be measured as kilograms. That's why the weights are a little bit, the, the weights, the pounds are a little bit off. My, like my plates I have, they don't even have kilograms because this is America. We do pounds. Um, so yeah, so 33 pounds. show on camera like adjust it accordingly the good thing about this is that these 33 pound plates a little bit of bulge but it they'll fit in there it bulges out a little bit but it'll fit in there um, I'm, so, so definitely all the, all the smaller ones will, the 10 kilogram will have to ship in this box as well, the large flat rate priority. The rest of them will fit in a, in a medium. I tried, I tried the, the large flat rate um, board game box, but they're, they're too wide, they tore through it. All right, back to normal. So that's the good thing is that they all fit in uh, flat rate boxes. Granted, like I said, it's gonna be bulging out. It's gonna be heavy. And the only one I'm concerned about is shipping both of the 33 pound plates in one box. I mean, it's a heavy box. So I'm like, I don't know if I should split those up. I think they'll sell better as a pair and um, they'll sell quicker. I just don't know about, I just don't want to do that to the post office and have them have a 66, 67 pound box. But however, it does say on there that 70 pounds is the max. So I don't know, I'm going back and forth. Like if they don't want something that heavy, they should have that, a lower weight. They should have less of a weight restriction, more of a weight restriction, less, less weight. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. I'll probably end up doing them both. Whenever I, I ship weights, I've shipped weights before. Um, and I think even up to, I think the highest I did was like 50 pounds or so maybe. And I always write on the side of the box, like you know, 30 pounds, 40 pounds. That way they don't go, to, you know, that way they can prepare when they're going to grab this thing. They can, you know, lift it correctly and not hurt themselves. So I always write on all four sides of the box, the weight of the box. Because, you know, I you know, can't imagine them trying to move this thing around fast. That, that would suck. But I probably will ship them both. And then when I when I do ship weights, I also I use a real strong tape. I don't just use a normal packaging tape um, along the uh, along the, the closing of the box and along all the edges and along all the corners to try to and then even around it a few times just to get, get the strength. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, we'll see, see if these sell. Hopefully, I mean, worst comes to worst, I'm gonna use them. <laughs> I can always use my weight. So, um, 
think that's it. I feel like I'm missing something. I'm going to have to cut this out because I can't think. So I think now is a good time to buy weights if you can find them. Cheap enough. I've, I've been looking on Craigslist. I missed some the other day. That was such a good deal. It was like 55 cents a pound for like a couple hundred pounds. They're standard size, one inch, but still I was like, oh, I was so mad that I missed it. I need to get back on offer up and um, just keep track of that stuff. And yeah, I mean, as long as gyms are closed, I think that the stuff's going to sell quick and for more. Um, oh, I was so mad that I freaking missed that. Such a good deal. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Comment below. Like. Please subscribe. That helps. I'm at 18 subscribers as of today. So that's awesome. That anybody even takes time to watch this. I really appreciate it. Um, again, I'm trying to work to be able to do this full time. Reselling. Making videos. My clothing line that I'm trying to build. So I can make my own schedule. Work for myself. Be home more. And help out. And all that fun stuff. That is it. I think I'm signing off. I'm going to go list these. I got some stuff to ship out today. So I've been trying to list um, at least three things a day. And it's been, you know, like all the videos I've seen where they talk about listing every day. It definitely helps the algorithm. So I've been selling stuff every day. So it's been freaking awesome. Uh -huh. Yeah. And I've been having this time off that I've had. I had all last week off. It is the 30th today. And I have the rest of the the week off I have it's a Thursday, Friday, Saturday no is that right? Thursday, Friday yeah something like that I work night so I have Wednesday night Thursday night Friday night Saturday night off is mine but it, yeah Anyways, on my off days, I go back to a normal sleeping schedule so I can be up with my family. And it just throws throws me off and I am usually lose a day because I'm trying to yeah, play catch up. Um, anyways, what was I saying? Yeah, so, so I've been able to thrift a lot more having those days off. I did the five days of thrifting, little series that I did, which was awesome. And I found some freaking cool things. If anybody watched that last video, I'm so glad that I like pulled myself... Like I, I made myself do the fifth day because so I was going to just say forget it. Um, but I just I was like, oh, I'll just hit up the Salvation Army. That's my favorite spot to go. And I found a, a model car set for $4 and I just sold it for $125. That is crazy. But Anyways, I'm signing off. God bless. Got to get this stuff listed. Thanks for watching. Peace.